That is one fucked up looking barn right there. Woo-wee! Hey everybody, Moose here. How's it going on this fine Tuesday evening, March 22nd, 2016. Actually got a warm day here in Michigan today, 59 degrees. Wasn't warm this morning. High 20s. But, figuring since I probably won't be able to ride tomorrow or the day after, for sure, according to the weather we got coming, I would ride today for definite. Supposed to have a mixture of rain and snow tomorrow. In the morning is supposed to be below 30 degrees, so I am not going to chance riding my bike to work if it's that cold and that kind of weather. Because that kind of weather causes ice. But I did want to do another video, and it's another response in a way to one of my Kaylee Sevens videos that he posted up yesterday. If memory serves. And it had to do with what was your job in high school. I found this one interesting. I find a lot of his vlogs interesting. I don't want to make it sound like this is the only one I saw to be interesting. But my job in high school started when I was... And this is actually my first paying job with a check. I'm not talking about working for family and stuff. But my first job in high school was at a restaurant, a fine dining establishment actually, which went by the name of the Bauer Manor. It was located in Tipton, Michigan on US 12. And I started out there at the age of 15 as a dishwasher. There's a job I took in order to pay for my first car that I owned, which was a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. I had borrowed the money off my grandfather at the time, and uh, my grandfather was a businessman through and through. And he made sure that I paid interest on that loan of 12.5%, I think. No, 7.5%, sorry, uh, per month. Uh, annually, I believe, on that car. And I borrowed the original amount was $2,000. So monthly, my payment was $112.50. And to pay that amount, I had to uh, take a job where I knew I'd get a steady check. So I took a job as a dishwasher at the Bauer Manor. Now, this job, uh, I was there for God, I think three years, uh, almost all the way through high school. Actually, I quit and walked out on them because I was pissed off at the time, you know, I was younger. At the age of uh, 18, I think it was, the year I was graduating high school. I can't remember exactly. I knew I was going to OTC for college, but when I left, I had actually moved myself up in the company, in the restaurant, from a dishwasher to a... Uh, originally a line cook, uh, basically a prep cook actually, then a line cook, and then I started doing the actual duties of the chef on certain nights there, which is where I learned to uh, cook at a very young age. And I learned to cook fairly well, and I still do cook on occasion, uh, not as often as I used to because I don't feel like it school bus, all the kitties getting off the bus, going home. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Tiny little thing, the backpack's bigger than she is. But yeah, I worked my way up from a dishwasher to uh, different levels of cooks until I finally reached the top end of the cook. Uh, I actually, at that point, ran the kitchen when the uh, actual chef wasn't there. Uh, this particular restaurant we also had on... Uh, Fridays and Sundays, two different buffets. Sunday was actually a uh, mid-afternoon buffet, early buffet, and Saturday was a nightly buffet. Um, not a huge buffet, 
but uh, really good items on the buffet. Uh, basically, Saturday was our prime rib night. All you could eat prime rib. And Sunday was uh, basically roast beef and ham and turkey. Even Saturday had the uh, roast beef, ham, and turkey on it. And it was a more or less an enjoyable place to work. I mean, not a high paying job, but for a kid uh, between 15 and 18, 19, it wasn't too bad, you know, at the time. I made decent enough money. I worked a lot of hours. I know in high school they always tell you no more than a 40 hour a week job. No, wait, that ain't right. 40 hours, you can't work 40 hours a week in high school supposed to work what is it 20 25 well the loophole you find is you just don't report the fact you're working that many hours to your high school at least when I went to school it worked that way where they didn't find out they didn't ask I didn't tell so usually I uh, for the most part put in a 60 hour work week uh, 50 to 60 hour work week every week I worked uh, Saturday and Sunday usually 12 to 14 hour days and I worked I think three nights a week usually during the week and I still did fairly well in high school I mean I got good grades got my grades up I studied and did the work you know but yeah that was my job in high school I was a cook and a dishwasher uh, and then uh, I went to school for uh, body work auto body after that and during those years uh, or during that year actually it was a year of trade school I um, worked at a Firestone uh, oil changes tires and basic maintenance and stuff on cars which wasn't a terrible job either so yeah that's what I did in high school that was my job and uh, the only regret I have is the fact that I got upset one night uh, at the boss who by the way was uh, what we called the world's nicest asshole at work, he was a prick for the most part. He was usually nice to me, but he was a yeller and everything else. Outside of work, he was the nicest person you ever met. Buy any, buy any meal you want. If you're long, you pay for everything. The work was just stressful, and his wife was uh, a pretty stressful person to be around, too. God, she was a moron. Dumb as the day was long. <laughs> okay. Or one year during Halloween, she dressed up as the uh, scarecrow, and I made the comment, uh, "Well, she's got the outfit right now. She only had a brain. I mean, it was the perfect costume." <laughs> I was a dick. I was a dick then, and I'm a dick now. Sometimes I'm a sarcastic person. Uh, if you've never met me in person, uh, those who have met me in person, you know I'm kind of a sarcastic person. I actually saw this post and I reposted it on Facebook the other day that said, no, the chances are my death will be caused by me being sarcastic to the wrong person at the wrong time. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me in the least <laughs> the way it worked out. I have no idea where I'm at right now. I have never been down this road, I don't think. About all I really got to say on all that, so guys have a good one out there till next time keep it between the ditches all righty then bye bye